Hi everyone, welcome back to the blog. Today's July 14th and we'll be visiting the Noble County 4-H Fair this afternoon. It's gonna start at 7 p.m. Uh, there's gonna be a rodeo with bull riding and some horse riding, barrel racing. I think is what's gonna be going on there. But uh, they're also gonna have some fair food and they're gonna have rides some spinny rides you can check out and just kind of see what it's like on in an average county here in the midwest when they have their 4-h fairs going on so it'll give everybody a good look at you know how we entertain ourselves in the summertime and into the fall with fairs <music> We're at the Noble County Fairgrounds, and what we're going to see is barrel racing. Women's barrel racing is coming up right now. Now what you see here is the rider and the horse. They're going to come up to the gate and start racing right there. That's what you see. And the point of this barrel racing is to go around all three barrels without knocking any of the barrels over and then race back to the starting position. As you can see, it's a one lap race. And whoever has the lowest time or whoever ran the obstacles the quickest, they're the winner. Now you watch this racer. As she goes in around the second barrel, you'll see she's going to knock this barrel over. So what the judges are going to do is add five seconds to her overall time. So she gets penalized five seconds for knocking over a barrel.
here in these next clips, what we're going to be seeing is some bull riding going on. It's an individual sport. It's one cowboy to one bull. Uh, and then what you'll also see is once the rider falls off the bull, you'll see some rodeo clowns kind of distract the bull away from the rider so the rider can get back up off the ground safely and then get the bull back in the pen. So what the goal is here is for the rider to stay on for at least eight seconds. If the rider falls off before the eight seconds, then the round doesn't count. There's no score. But if he stays on for eight seconds, then the judges will give him a score on how he actually rode with the technique and how he handled the bull while riding.